So today I've come out um, I'm on a dog walk with Betsy. I've met a friend Jill with her dog Evie. Uh, not Evie, it's Kizzy. And today I'm literally just going to try and find a couple of shots. So this video is going to be how to find a shot. And we're coming into autumn. The colours are just starting to turn. I'll just turn you here. Beautiful orange coming on the floor now as the leaves are dropping but I think we've still got another month so I'm going to go and find a couple of compositions I've been over here so many times and I want something different today so join me shortly and I'll show you how I look for compositions for the future for like a month's time when the colours turn join me in a minute So, steamed up, as you can see, I'm a bit warm under here. I've uh, a bit precarious in this olive bush. What I'm trying to line up are these lovely roots, the big beach, another beach, while they're over. Um, give me a second, I'll just show you the back of the camera. So, all I'm doing, because this is just a recce of trying to find somewhere for when the colours do turn, these are all beech trees. And as these leaves drop, they're going to go orange. The floor's orange already, but I'm hoping it's going to go even more orange. But I'm loving the uh, the lovely roots on this beach. Big beach there. Beach is in the shot as well, as you can see. Just look a nice little photograph. The settings for this are ISO 100, f16, and one second, because it is darker now. I'm on a tripod, so the, the shutter speed is immaterial to me. I'm going to set the shot, if it's any good, I'll put it on now for you, without Betsy in the shot. I've just moved around a little tiny bit. I am loving these roots and I think I'm going to take this shot. It's not really doing it for me. I'm loving the orange on the floor. I love the diagonal line coming through with the composition. The roots look fantastic. But what I'm not liking is the big white areas in the trees, in the leaves. Um, this could look better on a cloudy day. So I'll take these, I'll put this one on at the end if it's any good. Um, but I'm going to just try and find something else here. This looks absolutely lovely in here though. So I've been walking around here now for ages. I'm trying to sort some of it out with these beautiful roots and I'm really struggling. Um, lovely little shot. So I'm going to give this neck. I'm loving the orange, I think we need a few more leaves to come off. Um, they say they're big beech trees, this is what massive this is. And when all these leaves come down, it is going to be just a carpet of orange in here. So I'm looking forward to coming back in about a month's time. So I'm going to move on and see if I can find somewhere else. And uh, yeah, but the key is with this, do your research before you need the colours and find some spots so you know exactly where to come. And then you can just work the scene a bit more when the colours are there but I will get some photos of this later in the summer it's a beautiful little area this there's another little patch just down here that I want to try and get some shots now so I'm going to find a couple of mushrooms as well so join me shortly and we'll find something else here's my little mate I had a little episode with Betsy actually on Monday and I want to thank Jill Martin and his wife for helping to find her. Betsy found a pheasant farm and she was off for five and a half hours 
but that took five and a half hours to find her. Um, when we did find her, she'd run her legs off completely. She was wrecked. Um, pheasant in the field, and then we found a fenced off area full of pheasants, must be for a shoot, and that's where Betsy was. She'd found the lot and trying to get into all these pheasants. So she was having a great time, but thanks, Martin, your wife, and Jill for helping find her. It was actually Jill that found her, so yeah, naughty dog doing what it does best. So yeah, under toy control today, she's uh, she's having to behave. I'm making her. So, yeah, chum short live, we'll try and find something else. Just look at this tree. Before we go with this tree, just look at this. The roots are incredible. What I'm loving is, this limb has come down, just show you, to the ground, and it's rooted, and it's producing, well it's produced, more trees. These have all come, there's four big limbs here, off of that one single branch has come down to the ground. Must be, oh, it's, it's old, I hate to think how old it is. I won't have a clue to age in it. Looks absolutely stunning. Another big limb going off up there. There's these roots here. Absolutely stunning. Right, time to, time to wander on. Catch me in a minute. So, now loving this little bench, looking down, and I'm going to use this as a leading line down the trail. I'll just show you the back of the camera when I get it up. Um, well, wait a minute, we've got somebody coming, so I'll wait for these to get out of the shot. Um, the little scene, I'm thinking, the bench is on a slight diagonal going through the picture. And I think when all these beech leaves come down and you've got a carpet of just orange I think this could look really nice as well so I'll just talk you to the back of the camera of what I'm getting so again with this shot the bench is just on a slight diagonal and it's looking into the frame we have the path walking off down and I think when the floor becomes bright orange with all these leaves off the beech trees here and the silver birch it should look really nice it is quite harsh it's got harsh sun just up here which is lighting it up i'm just going to wait for it to just try and give me on a bit of a cloud before i take this shot um it is just it's too bright there for me but yeah um again just work your scene and try and get an image that you like ready for when everything is right for you all the leaves start to go orange and the orange floor you will get more green moss coming on the bench as well so it'll all look really nice and it's just about doing your planning so while it's looking a little bit boring at the moment what I've done I've just got Betsy to jump up on the bench just took a quick photo of Betsy and I'll put this image on for you right now have a pose, make it work, make it work. So, another lovely little scene, got these little silver birds We've got the little oaks on the on the left, silver birch on the right, just bordering the path leading off. And again, I'll just show you the back of the camera. Uh, you can just see the trails of the path of the orange coming now. So here's the back of the camera. So what I'm loving here is we've got the frame edged with the trees each side and the path leading up. It's a shame about the tree in the distance just being a little bit blown out. The sun is just lighting it up. Um, I have underexposed the shot slightly. Well, I'm one stop underexposed. The settings are ISO 100, F16, 
I'm focused just on this tree there. Um, I don't want to do focus stacks and stuff like that because I'm only doing a recce. So I've just closed the aperture down to f16. Just focus there. Everything should be in focus or close enough. It will all be acceptably focused anyway. But I am loving the orange trail that's coming with the path anyway and the dark area in the middle to denote the path. Looks beautiful. And I think when all the canopy starts to turn as well, this should look a really nice shot. So I'm now going to go down to the uh, calf, see my mate Steve and Wendy, get a cup of tea. Uh, what a lovely couple of hours in here. It does look beautiful. All the, uh, the leaves are just starting to fall now. We have had a couple of strong winds. And uh, yeah, but the key is get ready for autumn before autumn comes and all the colours come. I tend to come out and I will just find a few nice little compositions and just take test shots really, just doing a recce. Um, so that when, when the leaves have fallen and the canopy is turning, you can get exactly what you want, where you want it. Just look at this in here, beautiful orange floor, there's bits of yellow, there's bits of green. Looks stunning, it does. Absolutely stunning. There's some beautiful roots there. I'm not going to take a shot today because I've had enough. I need a drink. Look at the beautiful roots there, moss covered. They look fantastic, they do. So, there are links down in the description below to all the gear that I use. Um, please check them out. If you've got a favourite image, or if you've got a question on you know what to look for with these uh, autumn colours and how to compose just send me a comment below and I'll try and help it if I can but all I would say to you is just get out early like now we're probably about a month away three or four weeks before we get really strong colours they are just starting to appear now so do your own work now get out find a few lovely little scenes and just work them so that when the colours do come you know exactly where to go you know exactly the shot you're going to get I'm going to end the video now anyway I'll put these photos back on again now just for us to have another look at and until next time I'm going to get a cup of tea take it easy